And we've been to some stunning locations. We, we've been to far flung places like Nottingham and Oxford. We've been to prison, beautiful castles, um, manor houses, manor houses, man made caves where satanic rituals were held. Today we're heading to our scariest location yet. Dun dun dun! Cats oh, Calamity Real Horror in Pontypridd. <laughs> Today we plan to try to get inside an abandoned theatre. The Town Hall Theatre was built in 1885. It was disused by the 1980s, actually above um, the indoor market. We used to go there with kids to buy our shell suits. We have seen photos of the inside. Someone has got inside, so if they can get inside, we can get inside. Now, the, we didn't work with Dandy. We got caught. Our plan is to don Batman, Batgirl costumes, um, scale the walls, get in, grappling hooks, Batman style weapons, jelly babies in case we get hungry. We've bought vegan food pastel. So we're meeting Ascraft there. Um, so Rich lives in Ponty and he's our guest. Actually, this whole trip is his idea. So if we get arrested, I reckon he should fund the bail. There's not a lot of like haunted stuff in Ponty. Um, it's only haunted by chaps, really. Yeah. It's the scariest part. Uh, many years ago, spirits bade people to find and dispose of treasure into the rivers. Two people were asked to do this in Ponty, but they didn't do it. They probably stole it. So the spirits beat them up and threw them into the river. They were asked to do it again. I think they might have done it that time. They learned their lesson. Yeah. The best stretch of road, I could cut it. Best stretch of road. We used to come this way. Anyway, every day when we were teaching assistants in our mum's primary school. Yes, they let us work with children. <laughs> yeah, this is mountain, Kapini Mountain. This so. lane here coming up on the right. Kevin Carnow Lane. Haunted. That, I know, that's haunted. Uh, apparently by a guy in the top hat, so... But there is a detention centre by there, so you know, it's probably somebody who escaped. Um, so we did, not long after we first met Ryan, we insisted on driving down there in the pitch black and actually getting out and walking into the woods, breaking every horror room. Um, we didn't find any ghosts. Not even sure we were in the right place. The monsters are, so we will no doubt actually end up today in this theatre is a failure. It was built in the early 1800s. Uh, the cellar bar is actually the area that's haunted. It used to be a maid's chambers when the place was a hotel. Um, and a maid in Victorian clothes is actually seen there. Um, a maid hanged herself back when it was a hotel. Um, people often report seeing her in her white Victorian maid's dress. Um, one barmaid said that she was coming down the stairs, she put her hand on the handrail, there was actually a hand there behind her, and it faded. Uh, okay, Ponty Common. Do we want to go, oh do we want to, go to Ponty Common? People? What is that haunted by? Junkie. A druid. Uh, glacial boulders from the Ice Age are there. The one is known as the Rockin' Stone. It's a central point for the Druid Circle of smaller stones that were constructed by Dr. William Price, who um, is the famous pioneer of cremation. I'd never heard of him until I researched Ponty. His ghost is seen. He has long hair, a colourful dress and a cap a full fox skin. He cremated the body of his five month old son in 1884. The child was dead by the way. He didn't murder his child, he just cremated the body. He was tried at the Glamorgan Assizes and the case actually established the legality of cremation. Ghost Raider. Ghost Raider says, no. We have a blob, we have a blob. I can just sweep them up. Danger. Danger. <laughs> Danger. And look who's oh, at the end of that. It. It's gone. I'm not sure how this works. Oh, yeah, you're a ghost. Yay! No, you're clean. You're clean. No, yeah, you're clean. You're not possessed. It's you! Dirty.
Play roll. Play roll. <laughs> play roll. <laughs> yeah, you play roll apparently. I can't believe you play roll, right? What God. twist, like? Oh, wow. <laughs> no one saw that coming. No. Yeah. There's more than one What's of them. What's up, thing? Sell. 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 We can sell you. To the gypsies. <laughs> to the gypsies, yeah. <laughs> Am I haunted? Yeah, we go one that comes up with all kinds of really it's not, random stuff. It's not registering you at all. Hope. You're not even a blob. You're nothing. Are we ready, Ghostbusters? We're ready! How excited to be people. Let's have a pint. Yeah, every time we'll take that. We'll have a drink before we start committing crimes and trespassing and everything. Yeah. yeah. This, oh, yeah. is our, this is our guest for today. This is Rich. Have you not introduced him yet? No. You've been here for like. I know we've been here. Uh, really he was we were people. watching him play Resident Evil. <laughs> playing with the cats. Yeah. yeah. No. Where's my key? Playing Resident Evil and playing with cats. Rich is about as geeky as me, if not more geeky. But he's I'm not a geeky. jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got any gadgets, so, so I'm going to make one of those water doses <gasps> to let me do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there any of getting like gal uh, tent pegs? You could just like substitute them for rugs. Yeah. They're heading to the Molster Arms. This is actually just down the road there. It's, as is Helen as I asked. Couldn't be too bad after that. Oh, yeah. Do you remember in the cartoon when they walked down the street like that? That's what they walked like. That's, That's what I used to walk everywhere that was. Like, no. <laughs> We're going to play that when we get to the theatre. Yeah. They let us in then. Look, here's um, our local uh, heron. See him? Oh, you got a heron! Yeah, he always lives here. Oh, Can you good. get a good shot of him? Yeah. We have to name him. Oh, don't go in there, I've got some of this. His name is Geraint. Geraint? Yeah. <laughs> or Hamlet? <laughs> Gary. Geraint the heron. Yeah, he, he just hangs out there all day though. No mind, no mind, just streak in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. We can get through the fence over there, come over this way, and there's like stairs going down into that bit. Ah, right, excellent. Oh, we're going in there. Yeah, that's been Look at that. Weird. That could be a great zombie apocalypse escaping device. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. I've spent so many nights in this place. Really? Yeah, you can really buy it. Come on, man. I've seen, I've seen everything you can see in this beer garden. <laughs> Honestly. Drugs, sex, violence. Darkness deeds. Ask a question. <laughs> Ask. Hello. Are there any ghosts here? <laughs> oh, it's cool. Freaky. Oh, yeah, there's a red dot. <laughs> Contrast. Contrast. Why is it saying words? Spell out. Run. <laughs> okay. Tears your tears upon tea. Um, I was walking up the street and there were lots of kids playing football and I saw 20 feet on the floor. <laughs> and I went to pick it up and a kid put in a ball at me and the ball at me in the end. So I got distracted and shouted at the kids. Left 20p on the floor, right? Whose vein doesn't bend down for what is it, exactly. less than 50p? Never bend down for 20p and probably. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen to you. Oh. And then I got to bargain books and some mess outside bargain books went to me. Oh, but give me 20 pence for a, for oh, a, for a crate. And, and you one. didn't have the 20p. And I, I could have had 20p and I went, oh, right, I'm going actually, I haven't got 20p too. And he followed me and started like abusing me, shouting like, if you. Um, don't give me uh, 20p, I'm going to like, take her off you, and I was like, oh, whatever. So then I decided that I was going to go home rather than go to the pub, so I walked back. And he kept hassling me for this 20p all the way over the back over the bridge. So I decided I wasn't going to go home because I didn't want to lead him to my house. Mm. And he was screaming at me for 20p. So I went up there, like, from the back of trap line, and I hid in a dark alleyway. And I thought, right, the hunter's going to become the hunt dinner. Like. And I put my hand in my pocket, right? And I grabbed a bunch of keys, and I had a different key sticking out between each finger, right? Oh. And both hands, right? Yeah. Both hands. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. Like some pissed off chap at Newell Vick. And I, I hit in this dark alleyway, and he walked past me, still chasing me. And I pop up the idea with these keys in my hands. And I shouted, 
Yeah, well then! <laughs> I turned around and he was like looking at me and I went, No, you give me fucking 20p. I turned around, so I, so I turned around and like bugged him basically. We did, I said, You was going to give me 20p as well, like, but then I said, Ah, oh, sorry. And then I just said, Turn the fuck off, like, and then I went on. But then when I went on, um, I picked 20p up and I was like, Oh, I've got a story about this 20p now, we still in. So I put it in my pocket and I thought, I'm going to keep this 20p you now forever, like. <laughs> Uh, all my stories are like, they're not as funny as that. They're just like, tougher. Just lots of coincidences. Like, uh, like me 20 pounds for the bread. Yeah, I mean, you can't walk down Ponty without somebody asking me 20p. I'll be disappointed <laughs> if it's not on this episode. Yeah. yeah. It might be the same guy, though. Like, I'm trying to get him out for 20p. I was like, great, it costs more 20 pence, bud. <laughs> and I tried breezing with him and going, it's 20p on the floor, don't it? And he was like, I'll give you one. I was like, I'll tell you about me. He really pissed off and insulted him. I think he's right for 20 They will, and they will steal sugar from your tea. They will just. This could be our most dangerous episode. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up here is alright, you know, we get used to it, but. If you haven't been here before, it's, it's a bit of a... It's, it's a bit not going to get much of a anything, like, it's just silly parts of it, don't we? Might as well, we try. It'll be alright, yeah. It'll yeah. be alright, as long as you don't get attacked. If we don't speak, yeah. they, they won't know that we're not from here, so we might yeah. be alright. Yeah. <laughs> Will How? we get mugged today? You want to write an exercise? Right. <laughs> you don't have anything for your calendar on your calendar for not, today. Okay, we're not getting mugged. I didn't plan on putting on the calendar. Means we're not getting mugged today. Like, uh, we we did did the one, one PM we did not till uh, till a mug and into our time. Get, like get mugged. 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 What do, you, what do you reckon to that? <laughs> what do you reckon to that? Who does that sound like? Calling Richard Bundy! <laughs> <laughs> How mad is that? Look at his, he's calling you! How is that <laughs> Yes, this is Pompey. <laughs> his surname is Bundy, but he is not related to the serial killer, just to let you know. Not officially. <laughs> On that hill over there, there was a child, and he was a small child, and I tried to walk past him. Right, he went small, he was about 16 or something. And he, was, he kept standing in my way, mm. I kept trying to go around him, and he kept standing in my way. So I picked him up completely, like by his jacket, <laughs> and I threw him like as far as I could. <laughs> and I threw him about five or six feet, and he hit those railings. <laughs> and he got like, so I go, what are you back? <laughs> Chav tossing a new Olympic Chav sport. Tossing, yeah. Walking on water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ponty Jesus. <laughs> Ponty Jesus. This is a local teacher. She. Um, what do you know about Ponty? Is it haunted? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> haunted by chavs. Yes. Haunted by haunted chavs. By chavs. Yeah. Yeah. Haunted so what about chavs? <laughs> many, many in Ponty or? Lords. It's a world capital. <laughs> Probably by like. Um, chav souvenirs in, in like gift shops instead of like buying dragons that you could probably buy like shell suits and baseball caps and yeah. cigarettes and pop and in, um, chav generator <laughs> <laughs> smack <laughs> generator all <laughs> oh, these chavs are kind of production man just yeah. come off yeah, like on mode and like... each one comes with a different shell suit you can interchange <laughs> them imagine that though, like zombies those neon like square thing and rooms above, rooms above it. Right. But that's the whole theatre, over there. Okay, this is the uh, <laughs> challenge. See, you wouldn't jump down here because it's like a 12 foot drop onto a tin roof. It's not going to end well, God. is it? No. There's the bridge then to get in there. That's the, that was the actual end. Oh, okay. This is a little bit of it. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Just normal camera. What are you doing? Look at me. 
film it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's I've never been in it. I've never been in it. Yes, I did. Yeah, I have, right? How'd you get in? Go and climb through, Joe. So, yeah, that's uh. We've already found some shit. Well, they found us. <laughs> Doesn't really seem to be a way in. Oh, honest. <laughs> but this has been cut at some point, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's how they you got to hang. You're gonna have to hang off our backwards. What's down below? Well, there's a tin shed. Yeah, uh, tin roof there. Yeah. Ah, uh, tin roof. Over there, there's a concrete bit you can drop onto. What about around this side? You're not going to get in there. <laughs> it's a tantalus, why are you here Just in case uh, zombies are getting in there. Do you mind ninja skills? I could probably get into that bit and I showed you on the, the phone. But it'd probably just be me. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I lowered like a rope ladder or something over. Yeah. Is it, what's round the other side? Um, well, we can go around if you like, and yeah. you can go inside the market and see it from underneath. There's a definite entrance, I reckon, get in there. Oh, and there's like a walkway there, mm. if you go the one direction. Yeah. Oh, look, yeah, this is the roof. So, this is the probably the entrance to the original theatre. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. I need two of my It's a wretched smell. Which one? Yeah. Yeah, it's like 
Yeah. Oh, look at it, of taunting. <laughs> hey pigeon, get in and open up the door for us. You know, it's you would need oh, cut like that way you <laughs> you grab that wall and then cross that bridge. Yeah, what I would do, like, well, I could if I could get up there, I could let you in somewhere else. Show me. Does the army surplus shop sell safety harnesses and winches? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grapple hooks. Yeah, that's what we need. We've come grapple so unprepared. We, we've like a documentary. We, we want to try to get into the theatre of the market, but without a grappling hook, I don't think it's going to happen. Is it full of asbestos? No, it's not. It's full of pigeon shit and vermin in it. Is it? They wouldn't allow you in there for health and safety. Oh. Health and safety. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be allowed to in case you, f you know, something happened. Yeah. It's so filthy up there. Yeah. So you could, we couldn't even get permission to go up there? No, the easiest thing to do, if it's possible, is to yeah. covertly go in. Covertly. <laughs> It's a bit tricky. We've been trying. We've been looking. We circled the I whole can't building. I can't see over the bloody wall. <laughs> uh, you got no chance. <laughs> uh, we might be going up uh, to Ponty Common, where they have the rocking stones. Supposedly haunted by um, William Price, mm -hmm. the guy who did the first ever cremation. He was um, mad. He used to wear a green jumpsuit with silver moons and stars on it, and he yeah, used to yeah. carry everywhere with him. Like Even when he was going to get some milk, yeah, he'd carry a giant like uh, staff yeah. with a moon and a star on it. First the first ever nightmare I can recall was on the rocking stones. We, we need um, a pop so. to catch his tears like a mermaid. Remember, the Incredible Hulk was in it one point. <laughs> he was. Um, He's always at the comedy, he is. <laughs> uh, and he, I used to be scared of him. He was pretty scary. I'm not very good at disturbing exploration stuff. I mean, we can't even get in with that place. I mean, truly, that's the first part. <laughs> We've explored Pontypool Day Street and where your mother works. Yeah. <laughs> We've got into the camp and stuff. Like, we're, like, we're going, we get all this equipment to go to break in, and the guys got talking to us and actually telling us how to get in. And apparently, if you just go in, if a door or window is not locked, we're not committing any crimes. Even offered the props. Where we were before that smelly part, we were investigating. He said oh, that was rank. Oh, he said that if, was we, disgusting. if we called round smell. the back of it to just tell them that he gave us rubbish to take behind. Yeah. Well, we can get into uh, the swimming pool, the old abandoned swimming pool. I think, I think someone died there. If they didn't, they could stay. We have haunted onion rings, people. Oh, no, they... guys, I've set it to onion rings, not ghosts. <laughs> Yeah, we were down there. That's Pondy Beach. Pondy Beach. <laughs> All the celebs are spotted hanging out and uh, photographed. See that, you see that bridge? You see that pipe that's yeah. in the middle? Me and Richard were... Uh, <laughs> climbed over that. Climbed over that. Only like two years ago. We hang upside down and we got the other side, steaming as hell we were. And we got the other side and realised we both had our iPhones in our pockets. And we ran across the field and I fell apart by it and we couldn't see through the dark. Yeah, just got tangled in it and just fell over. <laughs> Yeah. It's so dangerous to have a first aid. Yeah, people get attacked oh. here all the time. Dude. It's quite huge. So right, this is um, backwards. That is actually like those swimming pools. They don't even venture where it is anymore. But it's got a wall around it. And it's Santa's all Grotto. Nothing. Right, we're here. That's Santa's Grotto. So we're heading straight down into. Yeah, that's it. That's that, that green thing. Oh, you can see the roof. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't. I didn't expect it to be cordoned off though, like that. Let's go over it. Chapter. 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 Photography of filming in this area. Oh, yeah. <sighs> there's a wall. <laughs> Wait, there's a, there's a gap here, though. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, this isn't much like proper things going on. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> Height of summer, the stream proof by there. <laughs> Height of summer, everything else is here to sunbathe, we want to get through that home. And, um, we've got our priorities right. Yeah, piece of, piece of fog. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's saying it's they not took one look at Ryan and they were like, sure, he's on crime watch. Oh, yeah, we texted Joe. You know the mug shots that we took in Oxford, we texted it to Klein once for the Rogues Gallery. That's why the one we kept for you. We should have left you behind, we've just attracted attention now. Mm -hmm. 
Why do we never think these things through? We just thought it'd be funny and then I'm just stuck mm -hmm. us. Probably the least paranormal episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's far too yeah. bright and sunny, isn't it? To be yeah. paranormal. Yeah. What do we yeah. get inside the precinct? Is um, me and Ray will stand by the gap, but then you two guys can like jump in mm. when we like sort of keep, uh, keep an eye out yeah. and sort of block the view. And then we'll yeah. sort of suddenly jump in after as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we would get in there, even if just hop over. Yeah, there. as soon as we're over the fence, we'll be in. There's obviously people going in there. Yeah, builders the other side. Because there's like, a staff on the other side that just went in. Yeah. Builders or something. Like, yeah. I can show you it on Google Earth. And that's it in the 60s or whatever, whatever it was. Yeah. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a gingerbread man got squashed. There you go. That's a really cool picture. It's when they opened it. It's really cool, isn't I it? Think, yeah. I think like, the best thing we can do, like, this is a Mission Impossible style mission now. Remember the way we got into this park? Over the river. Climbed over the pipe, over the river. Get over there at night. And then over around the fence. Remember we had to go around that fence. And then we'll we might need a machete. So we might need to go back for that machete. And then we can get through there. And then as long as we've got night vision, as long as we've got night vision, we're all right. Because I don't we don't remember. have night vision. <laughs> Security guards. <sorry. laughs> we don't have night vision. We've got her camera, but how high is the pipe above the water? It's, high, it's, it's curved, so it's highest point. It's well, curved, and it's got a flat bit on the top as well. You can walk across the bridge. You can do it. You you'll can't it. see the floor, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be able to do it. But I see, it's just sailing down the river on a dinghy. From my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it will. We can swim, we'll just swim the tap. Yeah. yeah. We're, not scared, we're not scared of the rat. <laughs> this is this is the sunken garden. It's on fire, but you can't see it. It's invisible. Yeah, well. it's actually coming invisible you. fire. We've been talking about invisible things. This is the invisible palm trees. Just there. So oh yeah, the invisible palm trees. Yeah. It's large. It's invisible beach just over the hedge. There is such a thing as invisible fire. I've just proven it. You didn't prove anything. I you did. You saw the paper on fire. <laughs> we could have lit it off screen. The orange blaze. No. You don't know how it works, okay? <laughs> it's invisible until stuff catches fire. But that's not invisible. Well, you said that the guy. I can't, I can't accept it, right? Because it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that's on fire. Oh. <laughs> You oh. said the guy was on fire and he couldn't see it because the flames are invisible, but we saw the paper catch fire. But you just saw a puddle on the floor. Yeah, but we saw orange flames. Yeah, when the paper touched it, yeah, then so it caught fire. When the man was on fire, why didn't no one see it? Yeah. Because he was covered in the shit. Yeah, because he didn't have no paper on him. <laughs> this, from the man who ate maggots because someone told him it was better. I didn't eat them, I just put them in my mouth. Somebody died by a invisible noose. A noose just like like a vine, just like swept down, wrapped around the neck, and How come ghosts never come out when it's nice and sunny and warm? Do they not like the sun? Maybe they're invisible. Is it just not enough atmosphere for them? Possibly. Maybe that's what they like. Why do why do ghosts want atmosphere? Why do they want mist? People can see them in the day, they don't they? Tourists see yeah. them. Look at this, the colours in there. I guess I'm going to do it. <laughs> Be careful on that rock there. Eh? Yeah, that's always what it is. That's a mountain goat. Careful now. <laughs> a bit risky. Yeah. 
You wouldn't want to go on that roof. Straight through. I just realised that that doorway is the one I can get to as well. Is it? So it comes through you and up you, so I can try them all. I can try like four doors. You think? A casual. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him, but I can't see him. Not happening. <laughs> How did they get in? I don't know, it's pissing me off that they got in and we can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, your mother. <laughs> you get back. I will see you again, then, Rich. <laughs> it's been good, man. <laughs> Nail shut, and that door where it says "Be away." CCTV sh is nail shut as well. I can hear lots of pigeons there. I was like, brr, brr, brr. "Really?" Pigeons, yeah. if you, if there are only pigeons you can get in there. A few pigeons you could get in there. Apparently someone tried to break in there last night. We're now really pissed off because obviously they could get in, we can't. Are we waiting for her? Quick. Oh, Can't even up. Hey. have been exploring oh, in the old precinct. It looks creepy. Look at that light bulb. We need to wait because the guy came up. Okay. It's on a PSV. PS3? Yeah. Why is it? Yeah. Game Shop. Uh, oh. Power Games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Oh, this was Power Games, was it? Then you can salvage. Oh, the flu is so good. I think this has been flooded. Yeah, you can smell the river. Oh, look, it's all chip, chip forwards. Oh, look, there's the, um, the car park.
Crazy See girls. You. Where are they? Girls. Where are they gone? There's something moving over there. I do too. <laughs> seen a shadow. Hello? Jack! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's falling again. Is it? Oh, shadows might be cool, actually. That's a steady hand Watch that, what's that? That doesn't look like very stable ground. No, it's dodgy as hell. Don't walk on it. <laughs> <laughs> we can take it up that way. Okay.
just look like you step on it. It looks like there were footprints, can you see? Probably something we've been doing a little bit filthy. Well, it's the first time I've got a nurse here coming out for work. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, it's just like green. Yeah, you two are filthy, I don't know about me. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Thanks. Mission complete. Ready, open. Do you want to get a white dragon on it? Yeah, come on. Let me try the missile method. Right, here we go. We've, uh, we've resorted to this. Alright, ready, go. Get the way. <laughs> All kinds of uh, grim and disgusting things happened though, um, which I'm very keen to tell you about. Is this another fucking pedestrian, sir? <laughs> 